Settlement today for the first time, a U.S. gun manufacturer held liable for a mass shooting. The families of nine of the victims in the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre reaching a $73 million settlement with Remington Arms. That's the company that made the gun used in the killings. Correspondent Tom Negevin is live for us in New York. So what is the gun maker saying about this, Tom? Well, you know, a statement just released to us in about the last hour, Nicole, by a spokesperson for Remington, reminding us, pointing out, reiterating the company effectively no longer exists. It's gone bankrupt. Its assets auctioned off. This settlement agreed to by its insurance companies, four of them, but this amount, $73 million, was the largest they could possibly have paid. When you experience something like somebody being told they're getting certain amount of money, a lot of money, and having that hurt, having that hurt, these families, would, they would pay everything, they give it all back just for one minute. That would be true justice. It was an unimaginable tragedy. December 14th, 2012 in Newtown, Connecticut, 20 first graders and six teachers massacred at Sandy Hook Elementary. The 20-year-old gunman armed with an AR-15 style rifle, a Bushmaster XM-15 E2S made by Remington. The Sandy Hook families and a survivor sued, saying the company should never have sold such a dangerous weapon to the public. This case was never about damages in the sense of compensation. It, it was about damages in the sense of forcing change. It's the first time a gun manufacturer has faced liability in a U.S. mass shooting. Lawyers for the families made that happen by going around a law protecting gun makers from litigation, arguing that Remington violated state consumer law by marketing the gun in a way that appealed to troubled young men like the Sandy Hook killer. Gun control advocates say it should send a message to the entire industry. We need to have gun manufacturers internalize the societal risks that their marketing and sales create because we're all paying the price. So a $73 million settlement and a lot more to come on this, Nicole, because thousands of Remington internal documents were obtained by the plaintiffs during this lawsuit because of their victory. They can now make those public and say they will. No timeline for doing that, though. Not yet, at least. Nicole? Yeah, certainly a lot more to come on this. A very big deal today. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.